G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle, and welcome back to the forest for another day of shameless deforestation and hopefully some pretty decent base building. Yesterday, we saw what lurks in the shrubbery out there in the dark parts of the forest and none of it was good news for me, nor my chances of keeping all my squishy bits inside my body. So the, <laughs> the desperation to have a good base has really kicked in quite strongly. So I need to get out here, get down to my lake house again, down my sweet ass zip line, by the way, and start massacring some hardwoods. Because I, I need somewhere to shelter. Bazza the bird is nowhere to be seen, but I will still take the feather he's left behind for me. Got a couple of logs actually left over in my little trough over here. Um, I need to fix that wall. So I can't just set my logs down my zipline, which is still... <laughs> I wish I had known about that the first time I played this game. Still a really cool function. So I can't set my logs down there, though, because there's no backstop to catch them when they go sliding at four-fifths of mark speed and do some pretty good damage to the lake down there. But I think if I just grab those and try and mountain goat my way down a sheer cliff, maybe I can get a couple done? I do remember, though... Uh, we'll go like that and just leave one like that right in the middle because you can go full full Canadian and do a bit of log running and still bend it in the end. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, shit. You can actually like walk your log around wherever you need it to be. Is it Canadians that run on logs in rivers? Is that, is that a, is it a stereotype? I don't even know. I, look, it's a thing I have zero familiarity with. So of course I'm going to get it wrong. You go like that. I need three more logs. Well, there's one there, so two more logs. Nice. And then once that's done, I assume I can start sliding things down the down the rope and not have it go flying off into the next century. I'm not sure. We'll find out, though. Let's go cut down some trees and start throwing some wood around. Chuck those two in like that, and hopefully that will mean that... Oh, God damn it. Hopefully that will mean that I can just make that wall and I don't have to run across this slippery-ass log anymore. Over to there. If I can get you to move a little bit... Oh, no. Easy. A little bit closer to the platform. That'd be super... No! Oh, God damn it! Who strapped some duck's feet to me shoes? I've got slipperier feet than Disney on ice. Here we go. Boom. Okay, we now have a nice solid wall at the end of the zip line, so we'll see how that works out for us. God, I saw the shadows of the bloody geese up there and thought there was some new kind of monster coming for me. A bloody shadow monster from the upside down. I'll go and grab these logs, head up the top, and just test it. Just test what happens to them. Once I know how the mechanic's going to work, I can start throwing down more than just the bare minimum. I just want to test it before I commit to it. Here we go. Moment of truth. Chuck a cheeky log on there. Where are you going to go? <laughs> right where the logs have been this whole time as an easy bloody passageway. Well, okay. Okay. I guess that's not going to super work out for me, but it might still stop me from going skipping across the pond like I'm a smooth, small stone. Nice. Does too. Okay. I can... Almost grab that one. Grab the other one too. Should I just make this like... Ooh, see, like maybe I'll make that a doorway or put some extra foundation behind it. I can give some more like breathing room to it. Maybe building it right here was a bad idea. If I'm going to need a lot of logs to do all the building, may as well grab my log sled again. Quickly back it out of the gate a little bit. There we go. Who would have thought I'd be good at back it up? That was a talent I didn't know that I had. And let's just get shopping. Hopefully this time I can manage to chop a couple of things without demolishing my exterior wall again. I'm still a bit upset about that, but that's what happens when you're a raging red-nosed clown like I am. Oh, that was, that was silly. <laughs> still dark on it. There's all these little stones about, and apparently, given I am starting to look out for any small vermin about that I can turn into any sort of useful tool, apparently the slingshot is the way to go. So if I was going to make a slingshot... I guess I need some rope. We can make you. What do you take? Warm suit, speed bag, rock bag, snowshoes. How do I make a slingshot? How would I make a slingshot? Well, Chuck, I'm going to find some sticks real quick and chuck that onto my uh, my crafting table. See if that gives me anything. There has to be a way. Just I just need to know the recipe. Here, try that one. Is that one better? Slingshot. So I need you, you, and take. There, there's my tape. There we go. Craft you up. 
Okay, equip you. I've no idea how you're going to work, but I'll give you a whirl. What's the worst that can happen? There's a little rabbit, like, right there. Oh, well over the top. Learning how to, how to aim this thing is always a challenge. You're still there? Oh, oh, I hit you. I hit you on the first crack. All right, fair enough then. Quickly grab you. That was much easier. I'll let the lizard go. He's a uh, go on and piss off someone else. Nah, okay, it drops well short. I don't know if I'm aiming like in the window there or over the top. Where am I aiming actually? Aim for the window. I think it's in the window. All right, fair enough then. Nice, nice, nice. I now have three rabbit's furs. Wait. Yeah, rabbit's furs. I need that to make a quiver. You, you, you. That one. Quiver. There we go. Now I can hold some more arrows. Lovely, lovely. I cut down more trees than I have room for in my sled, so I'll just have to come back for that big juicy pile of logs in a moment. Can't see where I'm going. When you reverse this thing, the controls are backwards. I keep trying to like three point turn one way and just spinning the other. Although I'll come up with any excuse to explain why I can't drive the thing. Nice. You go then. Give me two of you and just send you down the rope. No. Yeah, there you go. Oh, damn it. I don't even know where that one went. It went through the floor because the other part of the foundation isn't actually built yet. I need to get you back, but I'll do that last. In the meantime, let's just send all of them down like that. I mean, and eventually we'll just have a big pile of logs down there for us to play with. These are the last two logs to send down. There you go. We've got a cheeky couple of hanging out in the cliff top down here, but look at all the logs down in the water waiting for me. That's going to make our life so much easier. Um, oh. Oh, that hurt a lot. Sorry, I just kind of threw myself off a sheer cliff and my ankles paid the price for it. Managed to get away with it for the most part, though, because I have so many bones. Don't even know which one broke, my armor bones or my inside bones. Chuck all you into there. I'll grab you back as well. So if I... Hang on. Could I, if I just, like, stand on this little, like, log flotilla over here, can I use that as a way to... Like, build the stuff? Oh, I could if I had any dexterity and coordination, but apparently I can't. Let's try that again. Try it again. Over to there. It was going to take a lot of hopping and skipping and jumping, but hopefully... Yes, hopefully we'll get it done. It's getting very dark and getting harder to see the logs I'm trying to stand on, but... Ah, uh, there we go. We now have a slightly bigger platform. Most annoyingly, it doesn't actually quite line up to the first platform 100%. As far as I know, there's not a way to, like, snap the grid, like, snap a new building onto the previous building, which is a shame, because that would be super bloody helpful. But that's okay. Job done for the day. Let's head back up to the top and have a cheeky kip in our treehouse. Ooh, Flops, you're lucky. You're bloody lucky, Flops. I just murdered a bunch of your cousins because I needed their skin to hold inanimate objects. But you get to live. You get to live today. Another day, another morning, ready to get back to work. We're well fed and well hydrated and ready to rock on. Because what better breakfast is there in the world than one you hunted down and skinned yourself? I know personally, like, my muffins and croissants taste so much better when I catch them in the wild. Ready right to get down. Hopefully, I haven't actually tested this yet since I put the new foundation there. Stop! Damn it! <gasps> and all me logs are gone! That's a stitch up. That's an order so good in a stitch up. I cut down half the forest and you took the wood off me. Huh. Okay. Well, that, as unfortunate as it is, is only a minor setback because now I have to go cut down more trees to keep on building this. Oh my god! Woo! Attack of the geese! I didn't realize I moved to bloody Canada. The cobra chickens are coming for me. Man, that bird got right in me bloody mush. Back at it again. Wouldn't it be nice to have like a chainsaw or something? Just some way to get through these trees a little bit quicker. Even with the modern axe. I mean, it's half like half the time twice as quick as it used to be with the plain axe or the stone axe that I had. But even so, it still takes quite a while. But at least we're making some progress. Slowly but surely, we're getting a job done. Before too long, this entire forest is going to be dehabitated, And all the small animals will have nowhere to live except for in my totally safe and not at all bloodstained compound. Like you. <laughs> just, you're just cruising around. you got nowhere to hide anymore. Just going to get rid of these stumps that are scattered about inside my compound walls because they're just kind of in the way when I'm trying to drive my um, my log boat over here. Um, 
No, aim downwards. There you go. Split it like it actually would split. No, you're just cutting it down even further down the stump. Nice. Okay. So I guess I'll just do the same thing again. Just... <laughs> Just keep sending logs down. Apparently, two logs at the same time isn't uh, isn't doable. <laughs> there are jokes to be made there, but I'm not going to say any of them. So now that I have some logs down here, not many, but some that I should be able to play with at the very least, I want to start trying to make myself custom building, custom floor. It's... Oh, I see movement in the fog out there. There's a couple of visitors. He's got some fire coming out of his hands as well. All right, Chlamydia Man has come to pay us a spell, but I mean, we're going to get up there. I don't have like the spiky walls done on my base here as much as I'd like to, so we'll just have to make do with it. Oh God, this is going to be a nightmare to try and build, isn't it? How do, is going to hold shift to make this square? No, nope, just <laughs> make your own wonky creation. All right, I'll give it away. We're ready to hold us the cracks like that, I suppose. Oh god, this is going to be a nightmare. I can only like reach in an arc from here too. It's not going to be super easy to do. I'm not sure what other choice I have. I'll start from there and then I guess just like swim around until I can place it where I want it to be. If I try and build it from the like the lake to start with, then it like sinks down to the bottom of the lake bed instead of actually being on the right level. So I need you to be about bang on... Oh god, it's so hard to do. Like there, I suppose. You're not that big, but that's okay. We can always build up rather than having to build out really wide. Might save us some logs as well, not having to make a billion bloody walls. Keep coming. Keep coming. So this one does kind of lock into place by the looks of things. So that's kind of nice. We'll go... I think it's locking on. Yeah, it locks onto there. All right. This is, this is all very difficult. I have no idea if that's all matched up, but I'll try it. It looks to be relatively square. I think it's a little bit bigger on this side than that side. But if I've nailed that, then I am a proper bloody hero. I mean, that'll work. That'll work nicely. I'll grab some logs and start building it up if I can. If there's a spot that you would like me to build you, I'll more than happily put some logs inside you. No? Why won't you? Why won't you let me? Why won't you let me? How do I build you then if I can't put logs inside you? What? Okay, I can. It's just really annoying to do. I have to aim for the yellow hammer. So that one spot in particular, 51 logs. Oh, that's so many. That's, well, you get like four logs per tree. So that's like 13 trees I got to cut down. There's little old me fueled by rabbits and lizards. I mean, I've got an axe for it, but that's still a lot. If you give me a bloody sawmill, I still think that's a lot. God damn. I used all of my logs and I got 16 of it done out of 51. So it's going to take several more trips to doing the same thing to get that sorted. Oh, and the sun's going down again. The days are getting shorter and my willpower is slowly draining. Plus, the longer I'm faffing about around here with all the flappy geese, the, uh, the better the chances are that something, one of the monsters in the trees is going to come find me and cause me some pretty severe perils. So... I'm uh, living on the edge, both figuratively and literally, on this cliff here. Nothing that's happening right now is making me feel good about this. I've been taking a lot of trees out of the um, the side of the plane over that way. So I think I might start on this side over here. Especially because like, the further I cut into that forest over there, the closer I get down to that beach where almost without fail, there's been something spawned down there trying to eat me. So I'm going to try and stay away from there as much as possible. Though I figure the amount of ruckus I'm causing in the forest right now, they might well know where I am. But they definitely do. They've already attacked me once. But since my majestic walls have gone up, I've been pretty much... Oh my god. I was going to say I've been pretty safe and I thought the karma gods had heard me was coming to rearrange me noggin. But no, nope, it's fine. Just hearing things. It's getting dark again already. I should probably, given I do have the remnants of lots of people, I should probably turn them into furniture and light up my life a little bit better. Um, I could put down, like I suppose I could take like a bonfire or something for up here. It's probably a bad idea. But that does take, that does take quite a lot of logs. Whereas these things just take human body parts and some sap. So, um, how, much, how expensive a bonfire? Bonfire is only five logs. Out of like the 50 I need. It's only a 10% investment. That feels like it's okay to me. I'll chuck you down 
back over here where you were once before, before someone brutally murdered you right in front of me eyes. Go like that, get some logs, chuck you on as well. I'm not going to be setting any logs down the flying fox just yet because it's dark as dicks down. But I do want to get some lighting sorted so I can see what the shit is going on. Night has properly fallen. That bonfire was a good idea. I'll put some people lamps down on my landing down there. So even when it does start getting dark, I can still see something of what I'm doing up there. Do I have any skulls just like hanging out in my pockets though? I think I should. Definitely do. What do they actually need for him again, though? Just quickly have a little gander, make doubly sure I'm on the right path. There's all the bone stuff. There we go. You. One skull, three sticks, and five saps. I should have a bunch of sticks in your pockets, too. I've got one, but I can get more. That's fine. No wackers, knackers. Let's have a kip and get cracking on the next day. There's gonna be so much cut out of this episode. It's gonna it's gonna get pretty janky when it's like skipping from time to time, but I don't need to leave all this in. You guys know what it looks like when I cut down a tree. Just envision that and multiply it by like a hundred. I think that's gonna be about enough for now. So the last couple onto you. Got one rando log left over. Um, God, I've gone like <laughs> I've gone full like Easter Island on this joint. The sustainability of my endeavors is about negative fifty. Huh. I uh, I feel a bit bad about that. I've taken a wonderful little sanctuary of nature and turned it into a barren, desolate landscape. All for what? For me to have a sweet pad on a lake of geese. I mean, that's probably fair enough, actually. It's going to be a sweet base once it's done. Oh, boy. All right, I'll get this last little log, slide them all down the zip line, and then see how many I've got down the bottom. I might have enough to have had the foundations done by now. It's a big ask, but we're making do. Can barely see the water for all the logs that I've got down here. There's the hammer marker, so jump over. Oh, oh damn it. Stop getting into the drink. <laughs> sort it out. There you go. That one, that one. Can I just, can I not build it from standing on a log? Do I have to push all these logs over to the platform and use it from there? If I have to, that's going to make this go a lot longer than I would have liked it to. This is just going to take forever. This is just going to take forever. Turns out my lumberjacking skill was more than I actually gave it credit for. And I have more logs than I need. I only need another, like three, I think it was, to finish this one off. Where's where's my hammer that tells me? Oh, there it is. I need three more logs and I have well, more than three. So my main concern now is just swimming them all out from underneath the foundation. I don't know what happens to them if I make that building solid. If I like remove it from the ghostly realm and make it a real thing. What happens to any blocks or logs or whatever that might be underneath it? So if I can just move these things about, that would be sick. Get you out from underneath. And then three more shouldn't be too much for hassle. It'll be done in the jiffy. Grab that last log. There's the hammer there. And... There you go. There you go. Jump back up to here. If you jump up on like a log out of the water, you get some pretty good hanging time so you can make it all the way up onto a now solid foundation. I hate that all that is so janky. I'm going to have to figure out a way to fix that. I don't like that at all. Maybe even like having a platform slightly higher for the zipline. Like it's there now and it's usable. But if I make a new one from the same spot at the top onto like a balcony, because every house needs a balcony, uh, down on my lake base, that should look pretty wonderful. That's a, that's looking a bit iffy, but that's okay. But for the most part, we now have a floor. Now we can start living. Oh, that's nice. It like automatically makes the house for me. All righty, righty then. Chuck you on. I need to... Find some way to make a window. Oh, here we go. Arm. Ooh. I wouldn't mind that being a little bit further across because that's not where the door is, but I'll just have to manage, I suppose. Squeeze in like that. You could be a window. Some windows on that side too. Dude, that's so much easier. That's so much easier than it used to be. I still need a billion logs for it, though. But fortunately, there's a whole heap floating about. Building these walls is actually much cheaper than I thought it was going to be because it only takes like five, five logs per pop. Oh, that's now locked. There we go. Just like push it open with me nose. There we go. It is inverted. Uh, I'm not sure how thrilled I'm about that. Can't quite get back in either because of the little step there, but that's all right. That's fine. The inverted door is still a door. It's not there to protect me against everything from the outside anyway. That's what the lake is around for. 
Huh, get back over to them. Yes, yeah, so it's only five logs per wall, which really isn't that bad at all. Look at it down there. Look how good that's going to be. It's not massive. I've run into the problem before where I build things way too big and then have nothing to put inside them. So this time it's a little bit smaller, more of like a cabin, I suppose. But it's safe. It's in the middle of the water. It's got some pet protective geese around it as well. Like geese da uh, guard dogs? Guard dogs, even. <laughs> I just got so excited about it. I forgot what the words actually were. Long well, have to come back and continue. Oh, Baz! Bazza, have you seen me new house? I'll put a house down there for you as well. <gasps> Bazza's got a bud. It's Bazza and Buddy. And they're probably, they're probably bunking as well. Doing all sorts of birdie uh, business. That's a lot of B words. But I'll have to come back and continue building my water base in another episode. Whew. It's been productive. It's been a productive day. Because, as I get up to my balcony, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you like to make sure you hit the like button down below or subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If you don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.